How's it going guys? Welcome back to the blue shifting and welcome back to Enigma. Now, if you didn't see last video, I'm gonna say this on like every video this week. I was really, really, really sick this weekend. Like, I wanted to die. Unfortunately, when you vomit so much, TM, TMI, right, sorry about that. But when you do, you can mess with your voice box, which it did. Um, for a while, I kind of lost my voice completely. Uh, Monday, I had about half of it back. Today, I think I've got it back. However, if I'm doing the girl voices and it's flying all over the place and I keep dropping my voice, that's that's probably why. Just FYI. But anyway, last time, Chester is not doing good. Uh, we're kind of seeing his regression down. However, we have been bonding a lot with Laro, which has been really fun. And we're going to probably go on a trip with him soon to a nearby island to try and help Laro kind of get ready to be on his own, live his own life. We also helped him with a little bit of like self-defense training, but we're really running out of energy, so I don't know how much longer we're gonna last. But let's see what happens. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Invero is excited to, for us to die because she wants our color, whatever that's all about. Hmm. Is it morning already? Oh, no, he slept over. Laro's still asleep? I shouldn't wake him. It's cool. I think I can't be sure about my senses anymore. Hmm. So I like he's losing feeling. Hmm. Jeez. How far can he go, like, still alive? I can see white breath, so it is cold then. That girl. And Vero, was it? I didn't understand what she meant at the end. What was all that about colors or whatnot? I wonder if that's related to the forest somehow. Color in a white forest. Hmm. Although the color's coming back, it's like it's like slowly receding away, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe maybe Enigma is killing people. And as it kills people out in the world, the color and life kind of returns to the forest. I don't know, maybe. Hmm. Well, I have a good idea to have another conversation with her. Uh, not a good idea, because uh, she said <laughs> next time she sees us, she'll probably kill us. Uh, I can't go without telling Laro anything. He got really angry last time. <laughs> ah. Whew. Sounds cold, even. <laughs> this way is too cold. I'd better head back inside. Maybe that's it, though. Maybe he's just he's kind of ready. He's like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. It'd be rough. Anyway, I thought of a few others, but regardless of which of the cabin we use, we have a lot of fixing to do. I can imagine gathering suitable wood would provide no easy task. Nah, that part's gonna be easy. I'm a lumberjack, remember? Ah, right. So that's why you've got all that muscle despite your build. Don't say despite. You're not exactly a bodybuilder yourself. Well, I guess I could say I'm not I'm on the sleek side if you compare me to Ty. <laughs> it's a tie. Ah! <laughs> huh? Tie? <laughs> well, was he just here? What is he doing? He was behind us. I think we're all heading the same way. You know, you can be quite a jerk sometimes. It's true. <laughs> Perhaps. I never took him for such a scaredy cat, though. I feel pathetic for never standing up to him now. Well, good thing you know now. Yeah, that's for sure. You're not weak, Laro, and you're not a coward. Yeah. You're just a little bit, um, simple? Huh? What part of me is simple? Sorry, dude. You are. Like, how can you get angry so easily? Uh, at the same time, it's one of your good parts. 
If you're trying to make me feel glad, you failed. <laughs> Whatever. Go over here for a bit. Okay, what's going to unfold now? Why are we heading into the forest? There's a boat over there. I made it myself, in secret. Though, it's, it's a really small one. I don't think I can even get offshore, much less reach the mainland. I see. If Colette found out, she'd definitely want an explanation. Is that why you hit it here? That's right. I don't fancy going deep into this forest by myself, but neither do the others. If I recall correctly, this, this road leads to... The White Forest. Enigma. Do you, uh, um, know anything about it? Not really. I know that Dad didn't want us to go there. Because there's a doll living inside the forest. A doll? Is that the girl from yesterday? Yeah. And don't get me close to her again, you hear? I wasn't the one who approached her. Yeah, whatever. If you see her again, just run. It would be nice if I could also learn the reason why. Ah, uh, th that's... I, I don't really know myself, but it's been said that nothing good comes out of dealing with them since old times. Hmm. Well, we should be fine as long as we don't go too deep into Enigma. I've never met those things on the path, at least. Hmm. I see he didn't go as far as to say they don't appear here at all. After all, we met her on the hill outside of Enigma altogether. But... Hmm? If they did appear, I'd be the only one they'd be after in the worst case scenario. I should at least make sure the boy gets out of this alive. Oh, he looks so sad now. He's like, oh, just resigning himself. Chester, are you listening to me? Ah, yeah, I am. Listen, even the ones who made the things say made, made these things says to watch out for them. Ignis. When I was still a total kid, he told me about the doll that would gobble me up if I came close. <laughs> were you trying to were you trying to do his impression? That actually did kind of sound like him. That doesn't matter. Anyway, whenever the thing appears, something bad happens. It appeared when my parents died too. Hmm. Anyway, I think if we talk enough about I think we've talked enough about this. Let's go. Yeah. It is true though. Invero did always appear right before we died in the other paths. <laughs> did you get tired? I'm still fine. Well, let's have a short break. There's no reason to hurry anyway. Thanks. Like we're on the edge of the forest now. Oh, hello, Laro. I can see the white forest. Enigma over there. Yeah. It really is white like snow. We're on the border between the green and the white forests. Mm hmm. Hmm? What is it? What are you looking at me like that? It's nothing. I just thought your hair is a pretty cool color. Really? But now that you mention it, I haven't seen anyone blonde on this island. I've never seen anyone looks like, like you even among the outsiders. It's not such a rare color in Lucinia, though. I, I, I guess I just don't know. I bet only a small fraction of outsiders reach this island alive anyway. Oh, you can't tell the number of accidents exactly? Yeah, well, Greta might know. What about Jimis, then? Jimis? You don't know him? Middle-aged guy with quite a mouth? With quite a mouth? Hmm. I don't know if we had anyone like that on the island. He seemed to be always goofing around in these parts. I think you should have met him at least a few times. I see him in the park most of the time. Say hi the next time you meet him. He's quite lonely here. You mean the Fountain Square? Well, I guess I can try to speak with him sometime. But I doubt I'll have the chance to go there a lot after this. Right. I myself won't be able to go there either. Hopefully I'll run into him one more time. We exchanged a promise to have a drink together after all. After he, like, confessed his undying love to us for some reason. 
I... Hmm? Maybe I should grow my hair longer, like you. <laughs> What's that all about, all of a sudden? You think it'd look weird? No, not at all. Though I think short hair suits you just fine. But if you're planning to have it longer, I don't recommend to go further than me. Until you can at least tie your hair up comfortably. My haircut's a total pain in the butt on hot days. I see. Um, aren't you being a bit more silent than usual? And your stare is going to burn a hole in me if you keep it up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's not exactly the response I expected. Is there a problem with me looking at you? Okay, okay, okay. Getting a little heavy-handed, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez. Not really. <laughs> I thought I should burn your face into my memory. Cause that's a thing people say. I don't know though. It's kind of cute, but like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, your smile, you know. So, my marvelous smile is unforgettable. Apparently not. <laughs> say something at least, or I'll start crying. It's better than a doll's, I guess. Huh? Alright, we should go. Okay, just whatever. Holy white forest. From a closer look, rather than white. It looks as though it doesn't have color at all. Laro, is it around here? Yeah, the, the lake's just over there. A lake? Is it a big one? No, it's pretty small and shallow too, but it's good enough for a small boat. Alright, now that now. And here we are. The sloop's slippery here. The slope's slippery here, so be careful. Alright. This road followed along a very border of the two colors. It's changing into green? I guess it does look like the color is eroding into nothingness. I left my boat near those rocks. Uh oh, someone took the boat. Laro? Or... What is it? Why are you here? Oh no, she's back and she- Oh no! And Vero and the forest are one and the same. Your question makes no sense. Get away from my boat! Is this yours? I see you're better with wood and ingus. And Vero. Hmm. That. Uh huh? One more time. What, your name? Yes. It's the first time I felt like you truly called out to me. Say it one more time. Hmm. Creepy. Hey, doll! Don't come anywhere near us! Go back to your forest! This is inside my forest, and it is you who came here. I have no business with you. Jeez, that's creepy. Chester and Vera hold your voice in high regard. It was the first time we heard our name was truly called. Your color will doubtlessly reach Enigma. I want it, and I can wait no longer. Your color shall be... Chester, run! Get out of the forest! You want him to... In that case, Invero shall take you both. But don't be afraid. With that, all of us will be one. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Laro! Run! Holy crap, it got insane. It got intense. <sighs> oh, that's not good. Crap! I should have brought my bow! You can use a bow? Well, I suppose we could have used it to slow her down. Chester, are you alright? 
Yeah, but more importantly... Yeah, it seems we can't leave the forest. What the heck's going on here? Where did all those trees on the road come from? Laro, I think I can still be... I could, I could still think I could still see a passable road out there. Over there is Ignis's house. Ugh. Let's go. Huh? Are you sure? Well, it's better than just standing here, and she seems to be drawing closer. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna die, son. Hey, are you home, Ignis, old man? Gosh darn it! Why now of all times? Laro, get out of the way. Oh, okay. We're gonna break the door. That that defeats the point of hiding here. I know you're inside, Ignis. Could you please open the door? Your doll's after us, and we need your help. And there he is. Oh, so you were inside. Hmm. You were so gruff, I mistook you for a wild beast. You. I ask you for protection from your doll, and if possible for a way to get out of this forest. <sighs> protection. I might have made it, but I do not possess the power to control it. And even if you were escaped the forest, you could never escape it. As long as you're on this island. No, on this world. I don't want to discuss my illness right now, Ignis. All I want to escape is right now is your doll. Chester. If there's really no way, then please at least take Lara with you. The doll's after me. Hmm. Huh? Well, what are you... Indeed. As long as I can get his ha it can get his hands on you, it has no interest in anything else. At least for now. As such, my protection matters little. I see. What? What do you see? What's going on you two talking about? Don't even dare say you're going to sacrifice yourself or something. <sighs> I'm not going to sacrifice myself. I'm her target. I can buy time while you... Are you taking me for an idiot? What are you planning to do with it alone? The roads are blocked and we don't even have any weapons. Laro. I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it. Calm down, Laro. Listen to me. Screw you. I know what you're going to say. That's for dying anyway. Yeah, you're dying anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm not why I'm listening to you. It doesn't matter if you're going to die today or tomorrow. I'm not leaving you. No way. No way, Chester. Laro. Thanks. You're kind to a fault. As such, please calm down and listen to me. Interesting. It'd be really cool if we could escape the island, but it does seem fruitless to a point. Do as you say, let him die with us. That sounds kind of sad. <sighs> However, as I explained to you before, because this game is so crazy, I know which one I need to, to, to use to find the true ending for Laro. I highly encourage you, if you've enjoyed the game so far, to get it, because there's so many potential endings here. Am I right? I, there's, I'm guessing there's three. Because I know this is the last choice in the game. Uh, for this line, at least. However, we're going to do the true ending, which is I want you to run away. What you said to me, as much as it makes me feel pathetic, that's the reality. I'm going to die soon, but you will live on, no matter the reason. You can never let go of life. So you're asking me to abandon you? No. You should choose a path that's best for your life. For my sake, too. 
Oh, that sucks though. That's such a sad way to put it. It's like, no, do the best thing that keeps you alive because I need you to stay alive. How am I supposed to do that? You said we were friends. You're my friend, aren't you? Abandoning one's friends is no different than abandoning oneself. Laro. Thanks. Yeah, we're friends. Chester. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Oh, snap. I think I hit him in the head. You're my precious friend, Laro. I'm the one who has abandoned you. Dang. Would I be correct in assuming that the doll is a living thing? I am not sure. I suppose you could think of it as a plant. Is it susceptible to fire? It didn't work for me. Well, that's comforting. But, it is shaped as a human. If you break that, it will be the end of it. Really, though? Unless it is the forest. Like, the whole thing. It's made of wood. It doesn't burn. It might look human, but we're nothing alike. Once he finished the outer design, the insides came alive on their own. In a way, you could say it's a being composed almost solely of magic. It sounds like you'd have to be a magician or a hero to be something like that. Even if it was susceptible to fire, what would I do if I ended up setting the whole forest ablaze? I should break its human shape, huh? I don't think I could hide from it just by being silent. I better think of, uh, think of the entire forest as her. The longer our encounter takes, the more I'll be at a disadvantage. I should strive to end it in a split second. However... Hmm... I never expected to receive something like this from him. He didn't seem like the type to carry around swords. Mm, nice. Unexpected or not, Ignis is a pretty mysterious man after all. I wonder who he is exactly. Hmm? Ooh, that's cool. That's actually kind of a cool shot right there. I recall seeing this crest before. Hmm, that one, what is it? What are you planning to do with that? Uh. Do you expect to break in Vero with that? Thought it'd be better than nothing. Haha, <laughs> interesting. That's Ignis's sword, isn't it? Who could have thought he would help you? You must have struck a chord with him. Although, he shouldn't have that kind of emotion left. Jeez. What? <laughs> well, Chester, I think that's enough talk. Oh boy. Oh dear, oh dear. I shall take your color for myself. Oh, that's a lot of branches. Like, ow! Ugh. Not the patient type, are you? She's just like freaking out Dark Souls. Oh gosh! Yeah, we're dead. Oh, impressive. You actually cut my branch off. This is my first time as a lumberjack, though. Uh... <laughs> Unfortunately, you are too slow. You will not break in Vero with this. You should not leave me some time. You should not leave me time to rest. <sighs> you can't hide beneath the trees from a forest, I suppose. Good thing the trees themselves are not attacking me at the least. This was way too much. I'm already at a disadvantage here. The sole blessing is that she's got her guard down. Chester, are you trying to play hide and seek? <sighs> Good thing this thing survived. But who would have expected it'd be my end at the. Oh. 
That legitimately scared me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Here you are. Oh, that. Oh. Ah, let me tell you something. I'd advise not to go any farther that way. That's a cliff over there. You're gonna fall to your death. Thank you for your kind suggestion. Huh? He's fast. Ooh. I see. So you were acting slow on purpose. <laughs> that was close. Yet you're still but a... Yes, I knew he had a gun. <laughs> oh, sick. That's a cool shot right there. I will give you a sound ahead of the color. Although I'm not the biggest fan of this particular tune. Oh my gosh. Dude. <laughs> red. So even dolls have red inside them. Or were they made to have it? Poor taste, if I ever saw any. Huh. Thank goodness. The sky is still blue, alright. Please don't move anymore. I'm too tired. Hmm. Hello! So you survived. Where are you watching? I would have appreciated some help. Why would I ever do such a thing? <laughs> but you're helping me now. Unless he kills me now. That child would give me a headache if he learned I'd left you to rot. Did he wake up? Not yet. I see. He's gonna be angry as a bear when he wakes up. I didn't know you had that. Ah, the, the gun! Uh, one for self-protection. Didn't expect it for, to prove itself useful in a place like this. Such a small thing, and yet such power. That's technology for you. Hmm. I can give it to you if you want. I no longer need it. What are you planning to do from now on? What kind of question is that? Chester! Chester! Where are you? I'll live to my fullest. Hmm. <sighs> I see. Aww. Wonder well, how close to the end we are. Hey, Chess! Ah, here you are. Hey, old Laurel. You jerk! How could you? <laughs> Aww. That's adorable. <laughs> Don't mock me with that grin! There's no need to be angry. Just look at this beautiful sky. Don't try to change the subject. I'm so glad to be alive. Huh? <laughs> but the thing though, so does he still die? Or like is he cured now? That'd be kinda cool. <laughs> um yeah. I'm leaving this island no matter what. I don't know when, but I swear I'll do it. Hmm. So in preparation for that, you've got to tell me all you know about the outside world. Every day from now on. This is how I'll use the time you gave me. Huh. 
So, I can leave with your heart inside me. Aww, that's adorable. What? Okay. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Of course, Lara. <sighs> oh, and that's it. That's the ending. Dang. Did not know we were going to be doing the last episode here, but this is it. Whew. Alright, so, I guess, I think for originality's sake, it's pretty good. And uh, like most mystery slash horrors, it certainly had a lot of its yeesh, and I'm sure it's got a lot more yeesh. But, uh, that was kind of cool. Like, I loved the, that combat at the end. I mean, it might have seemed a little short, but I think it was about perfect, you know? Because, I mean, to see Chester fight like crazy when he's so weak doesn't make much sense. Even taking down Ty, you can kind of tell it wiped him out. And so, like, I liked the cleverness of the, the it was the, the double fake out. The pretending to be in slow, getting a quick attack where he almost got over the sword, but using that near miss as his way to sneak out the pistol and take her out right there. Pretty cool. Um, I guess it's a little, a little shocking that's all it took to take her down, but I imagine there's been more to the story with that, and I could go for the other endings. I honestly am gonna leave that up to you. If you really want to see at least the the main ending for the Ignis route and the Invero route, you gotta let me know. But otherwise, I think we're gonna end it with this episode, just because I don't want to take too much away from it, and I don't know, it kind of feels right. Ah, dang it, I overslept. I was up till pretty late yesterday after all. Sis is coming for lunch, so I should probably hurry back. I only came to tell you that I finally finished my boat. But it seems I fell asleep as I remembered your face. You always wore that kind of laid back smile, after all. <laughs> oh, I think we're uh I think we're gone. It was fun. Whenever I tried, I could never win against you. But that frustration eventually turned into power. I'm genuinely grateful, you know? Yep. <sighs> so, thanks. I probably won't be able to come here anymore, but you're fine with that, aren't you? I won't push forward. Uh, I will push forward with your part as well. So, better see me off as I leave. I mean, I feel like I could do anything as long as I have your eyes on my back. And we'll be together even when we're apart. Fear inside me. Well, I have a line for you. <laughs> Jeez. So let's keep having a blast from now on, too, Chester. Aw, that was a sweet ending. <sighs> I will see the. I'm gonna personally hunt down the rest of these endings myself. One of my favorite things to do with visual novels. But like I said, I think it's unfair for me for and the developer if I take away too much and from your experience, because you should be able to partake in this as well. Um, so I'll enjoy the rest of the game for myself, and I'm very grateful to that. By the way, Fruitback Factory, once again, thank you for a great product. Um, obviously, this is kind of the more down-to-earth type of visual novel, but it had some of the more interesting story elements to it. And I think it's really cool and creative how they took things in so many different directions. And I'm interested in this, and I love how it is really multi-layered like an onion. So to see that this is like one of the endings, but not the main ending. And matter of fact, I know that the Invero ending is like the true, true ending. And I'm, so I'm interested to see what that one's going to be. But like I said, unless you guys are really, really wanting to see more of this game, I'm pretty sure this will be the end for us. So... Thank you for being here. Thank you for enjoying uh, Enigma with me. I hope you had some interesting ideas. I'd love to hear some of your thoughts on this on the plot. Did you think, since this is obviously not a mainstream uh, visual novel, does this one feel different to you in any way? I'd love to know what your re your re uh, resolve re uh, what the results are for you. And do you want to see more visual novels that are mysterious based? Personally, my favorite are the comedy favorite favorite ones, but I love mixing it up and having a bunch of different stuff. And quite frankly, I usually don't quite get know what I'm getting when I started a visual novel. It just kind of 
it happens to be what it is and I love it for that so thank you so much for watching thank you for being part of this channel if you're what make the channel great it's so fun having so many friends who take part in these things with me and so hopefully you guys had fun and until the next video you watch with me or whatever you happen to see me in next I'll see you there